Over the years, the number of owned cats in the U.S. has grown significantly, currently exceeding the number of dogs by millions. Cats need yearly checkups and preventive care, just as dogs and humans do, to promote longer, happier, and healthier lives. Cats are very, very good masters at hiding their disease from us. And unless you're trained to look for it, you're not going to know what to see. Cats don't seem to go to the vet as often because their owners don't think they need to go to the vet as often. Uh, cats are very frequently seen as independent animals that are not needing care the same way that a dog might need it. Unfortunately, that's not true. Uh, cats do need to go to the vet as often as a dog does, if not more frequently sometimes. Preventive care examinations should occur a minimum of once yearly and more frequently for senior cats and those with chronic conditions. We often tell cat owners that certain cats need to come see us even more than once a year. And they would be cats that are older cats, for example, in the later years of life, let's say from eight to 10 years of age and older, there are more health problems that cats accumulate. And our goal as veterinarians is, is to preserve health and preserve quality of life. So if we can diagnose problems earlier before the cat's really sick with them, then we do everybody a service. A recent study showed that 56% of cat owners would have brought their cat to the vet more often had they known it could have helped to prevent problems. Early disease detection is a really a key part of working with cats. We can have a huge impact on the animal's quality of life and we can prevent complications if we have that opportunity to diagnose the disease early. There are some diseases, uh, hyperthyroidism, a common thyroid disease in cats that we can cure if we have the opportunity to diagnose it before the cat develops a whole host of complications. So early disease detection, it's the same model as it is for you and I when we go to our physician. Our doctor wants to diagnose things early, uh, when it costs less to treat them, when the interventions are less risky, and when it's easier to restore uh, a good state of health. Biscotti here, this is one of my cats, uh, he developed heart disease and it was through an annual exam that we were able to discover that and to get him on medicines immediately to help alleviate the heart disease and to give him a long healthy life. Established in 1971, the American Association of Feline Practitioners was created to improve the health and welfare of cats by supporting high standards of practice, continuing education, and scientific investigation. The American Association of Feline Practitioners has, I think, uh, an amazing membership. They are veterinary team members, so veterinarians, veterinary technicians and team members from North America, but also from around the world. And they are people who are particularly interested in the cat. They are interested in, in feline medicine, in feline health, in feline welfare. And the majority of them do this every day. It's their life's passion. We have an amazing membership of people devoted to the cat. Recently, the association launched several new initiatives to improve the standard of feline veterinary care, including the Cat Friendly Practice Program. The Cat Friendly Practice Program is really a groundbreaking program in veterinary medicine. There's been nothing like it uh, in the past. And the time is ripe for a program that helps veterinary practices do the best they can with their feline patients. So this is about setting standards of care it's about educating veterinary practices about what their feline patients need. It's about decreasing that stress of the visit. And it's about making sure once the cat is at the veterinary clinic that they receive the best quality care that's appropriate to the cat. Cat friendly practices decrease stress for cats in several ways. It starts at teaching owners to acclimate their cats at home to the carrier. They have separate waiting areas for cats that are separated from dogs. They have elevated places for cats to be kept so they're not on the floor and scared. They have minimal handling techniques for cats so they're not making them scared by really overly restraining them. One of the key points of the Cat Friendly Practice Program is helping veterinarians and team members educate owners on the least stressful way to get their cat into the clinic. The visit does start at home. Probably the best advice I can give is talk to your veterinarian. Get some advice from them about how to train your cat to enjoy the carrier. 
how to, that it's not a strange, stressful thing for the cat. And once the cat is less stressful, then you as a cat owner are gonna be less stressful also. When a client, a cat owner, sees a practice that has the Cat Friendly Practice Certification logo, they know that that practice adheres to certain standards and their cat will receive a, a quality uh, experience, both medically and in terms of handling when they go into that practice. Many of my cats do not like dogs. They are uncomfortable around dogs, but being able to go into a separate entrance where there aren't dogs and waiting in an area where there aren't dogs can help make my cats much more comfortable when going to the veterinarian's office. You guys take really good care to make sure that she and I aren't stressed out when we come here and that's your number one priority for taking care of us while we're at the vet. The Cat Friendly Practice Program helps veterinary hospitals understand a cat's perspective and it helps elevate veterinary care for cats. She's just so much more comfortable, you know, and so they create spaces that's removed from the dogs, so she feels very safe. I think the American Association of Feline Practitioners is just beautifully poised to make a difference, to make a difference in veterinary medicine and to make a difference in feline medicine. We really do have the goal of improving health care for the cat, of improving the education and the experience for the owner, and also the third part of that is the veterinary team and giving them the resources, giving them the support they need to provide better feline health care. For more information, or to find an AAFP member or cat-friendly practice near you, visit www.catvets.com.